today is our sixth Mercy in Action Day for the Archdiocese of Detroit, where we have parishes from all across Southeast Michigan doing service projects to witness to the power of God's mercy. Uh, today we're at St. Irenaeus in Rochester Hills. They're collecting clothing for St. Vincent de Paul. This was inspired by Pope Francis when he declared in 2016 the Year of Mercy. Uh, so a group of Christian service coordinators got together with their friends at Catholic Charities to plan the kind of the first Mercy in Action Day. Our parishes are working in all of the corporal and spiritual works of mercy. So we're doing food collections, clothing collections, doing electronics recycling and hazardous waste recycling. We have parishes working in our cemeteries, people making cards for veterans and people overseas working in nursing homes. So a wide variety of needs being met today with all of our projects. We are putting together loving care kits for Ascension Hospital patients by making fleece tied blankets and then we are making get well cards and thinking of you notes and then we will add that to a bag with other care and comfort items like fuzzy socks and hand knit hats, devotionals and crossword puzzle books, things to keep their minds off what's ever going on for them and we will deliver those to the patients and send their love and prayers along with them. The more often kids get involved in service and helping others, the easier it becomes a lifelong habit. It really builds community and purpose. We are busy today helping our elderly neighbors. Uh, we're doing some yard work for them. So we've been out raking leaves at uh, several homes this morning. and Clean up the leaves, weed things, weed the gardens, and make their house look nicer. Mercy in Action means that we can help people that can't do all of these things, like bend down and pick up leaves into a bin. Like So Mercy in Action means that we can help them do just that. Today is a day for everyone to be out um, showing our faith in action around the community. Today, like this gal Carol we met, you know, she asked for help and I think to see it in her eyes, like people came and helped me, right? And I think that um, as I said, it's not always easy to ask for help, but when people come to help you, you realize that that's the way we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be out helping others. Once we're finished helping inside of our homes, we have more help to give. We can go outside of our homes and assist those in our neighborhood.